أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فاتي الله أتي الرسول أولو الأمر منكم and there was a reminder for ourselves myself I'm not abdukul ajeez or da'eef or miskeen or zalim or jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah that only Allah come into our lives and teach us, inspire us, raise us and the realities in which Allah want to bestow upon these associations. There's no amal in comparison to dhikrullah that every other amal we do because Allah ordered us to do it. And that which is ordered, you don't place your reward on what was ordered, you do it because it's a sign of love. Beyond the fear you enter into a state of love that what you ordered for me Ya Rabbi, inshaAllah we do it with love with ihtiram and respect that to please you. But an action that is purely from ishq and muhabbat, the majlis of zikr, majlis salli ala nabi wasallam, has such an amazing and immense reality that you can't speak about it, the words don't, there are no words for it but that the audience that's received is the only way to convey its understanding. That in this ocean of muhabbat and love in which every action of love is so dear to Allah And we described and in these nasheeds and salawats described that the innocence of a bird that when people come together to praise and to, to recite out of their heart and from their love, not for money, not because it's a job but just for love. They have an innocence like a bird in Divine the Presence. They begin to appear in the association of Sayyidina Muhammad like beautific birds. And every shaykh has an audience in which to present their recitations to the presence of Prophet ﷺ. Wa khulqul azeem. You can't imagine that if you're sitting with sincerity and expressing a love that you don't receive the audience of Sayyidina Muhammad ﷺ. Rabbil mu'mineen wa rabbil kafireen, rabbil alameen, rahmatan lil alameen. The immensity of what Allah dressed upon the reality and the khuluq, the character of Sayyidina Muhammad that no way to imagine that any good action that you're presenting to Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad that you don't get that audience. So it means that in the nasheeds and salawats and majlis as salli and nabi which is all Allahumma, it's all the dhikr of Allah that immediately this recitations begin and that audience is presented. And the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is present and all appear like beautific birds. And praising, 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 praising and from the shyness and love and respect of Prophet lights emanating and dressing those associations, blessing those associations. That every bird is coming and singing with all its difficulties, all its hardships, all its calamities. No, no, no creature appears without difficulties. And they come and in their ishq they're just praising upon that reality, asking and praising from Allah and through their praisings it's all hidden du'as or known du'as if people are reading the English. Their praisings are not a wasted praise, 
that praises are immensely eloquent prayers and beatific sounding, beatific fragrances, beatific lights emanating as these birds of paradise are praising upon the Divine the Presence and the ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad And all you can imagine because this is your faith, this is our aqeedah that the best of, of character is taking your salawat and giving back 10 praises, 100 praises, 1000 praises in a world of light that has no time. Means that as much as that association is staying, as much as that association is being dressed, being blessed. And all those whom love Sayyidina Muhammad they're in that majlis because they never leave the presence of Prophet because Allah is with them, Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Saliheen, all with their immense love for this reality of Sayyidina Muhammad then what make them happier? Then people coming with ishq and muhabbat for the one whom they love and they begin to convey their lights and their prayers. All from family, from Sahabi, from all whom who love the reality of Prophet are gathered happy with the praising because it's an expression of love and those whom love the most because their love was so sincere, how much happiness they have in their soul that, Ya Rabbi dress them, bless them, take difficulty and hardship away from them. Their nazar and their du'a. You can't achieve with a thousand years and a thousand lifetimes. You can't achieve with your salah if your life is about oh, my salah time, that your zakah time, it is time for your hajj, your umrah and you think you achieved anything with that, it's like this much. If you were lucky you took but one step that Allah accepted. That's not our door. That's not our reality and only Allah come into our life and teach, negate yourself. You do it because Allah ordered you to do it. Don't think you're being raised by that. But what you can't imagine is in this majlis and muhabbat, when you negate yourself, Ya Rabbi, ana abdukul ajeez, so da'if, oh miskeen, zalim, oh jahal, what I'm going to do for my amal? My amal not going to save me. Then that bird becomes very beatific. It's not coming arrogant in their press, in their presence. The birds become very beatific, and as these birds are praising, all the praising that coming back and dressing them. With what lights they become dressed? Their souls become dressed with what lights? One du'a from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is a thousand lives you can never reach that reality. Can anyone? So imagine the lights, the love they have, that mashaAllah you're gathering for the one we love. We are praying for you too, we are sending lights upon you too, our nazar is upon you too, your family and all your loved ones. And such a joy and such an association that if they're all praying upon you, Allah is most satisfied. If whom I love are praying for you and your expression of love, my prayer is most supreme and Allah's Allahu Akbar dress the whole association. For every and among every greatness you think, every beatific light you can imagine, Allah's Akbar is much more immense. Because you gain their love, Allah is satisfied and the lights and the love and the ishq of Allah begin to dress the association. That can't be from amal, that is only from ishq and muhabbat in which there's no intention. And only through those associations Allah gave Hadith Al-Qudsi, they did their fad and they came to voluntary worshipness. And only Allah teach that that's why all the shaykhs and my shaykhs, they're Ahlul Dhikr, they all had majlises of zikr 
because everyone did the fard but they're hoping for Allah to dress them. When Allah dresses them with light and rida and satisfaction that whom I love of Nabi'een they love you. I look to all my Nabi'een they love you, you talk good about them, you act good and have good character about them. All my Siddiqeen they love you, shuhadad all love you and always following you and praying for you and all Salihin gathered around you, I love you most. I love you most and I begin to dress you, I begin to bless you. That dress thousand lifetimes you can't achieve it. This way is not something to be achieved, not by their amma, not by their money, not by anything. All it takes is ishq and muhabbat is to come with a loving heart, to be sincere, to be broken from the world. The proud and the arrogant, they don't join us, they don't even see the door here. If you thought Prophet had a little cave blocked by a spider web, there's big glass doors and they can't see it. Don't even need a little spider web to guard the door, they don't see it. The arrogant don't find here, this is a gift and ni'mat, they don't find it on the internet. It doesn't pass through their vision and their heart. So a gift from Allah from those whom He wants them to succeed, He wants them to reach these oceans of ishq and muhabbat. And if they be a little bit humble and think that my actions, if I'm zalim, my actions are not counting. If I'm, if I'm bad and oppressor to myself, I'm yateem, I'm cut from everything Ya Rabbi, all my actions they don't count for anything. I'm doing them hoping you're not going to punish me but send me into the associations of love and the gatherings of love and only let me to be dressed by these oceans of love and muhabbat. And one dress, one prayer, one nazar from this king of nazars, the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad as soon as a spiritual nazar comes with what light it dresses the entire association and with what light it raises the entire association and with what light that dress and how they see it on Yawm al mashar That one whom the nazar and the dress of Sayyidina Muhammad dressed upon their soul, what Allah will do with them on Yawm al mashar on a day of difficulty? because we don't understand light. Your light is no longer your light, that the most beloved in Allah's creation has looked upon your soul, has dressed with a look upon your soul, you have a Muhammadan dress upon your soul, how Allah going to punish that? And that's why Allah teaches in Ayatul Kareem and Qur'an, how I'm going to punish them when you are amongst them and they're asking for forgiveness. That the Muhammadan light, the reality is dressing the majlis, blessing the majlis with the light of Sayyidina Muhammad And all day long they're asking for forgiveness, how Allah wants to punish them but want to raise them, I'll raise you in His presence, I dress you and I bless you. Pray through these holy nights that if we showed an ihtiram and respect for Sayyidina Zainab if we did a good deed that the nazar of Prophet came to us, that his rida and satisfaction dressed upon us for our good deed. You showed a respect to my family, you kept the ihtiram and you show a respect and a love for the sake of that love. I give you something that's so free and powerful of mine that I just look upon your soul with content and happiness. And all of Allah's rida and satisfaction dress the servant with goodness that if my most beloved is looking at you, I'm going to fill that with my akbar. Beyond anything you can imagine I dress you and bless you with. 
We pray that Allah always give us a good character in which to observe holy nights, holy people, holy souls and that these majlises be filled with light, filled with love, filled with ishq, devoid of bad character, bad, bad egos and that their nazar take away the difficulties from ourselves, our families and our communities. And in the end of everything Ya Rabbi raise us at the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad and that his rida and satisfaction dress us and place us in his proximity. For this life of ours we spent for that love, many are in difficulty and hardships. And for the sake of that love Ya Rabbi grant us, grant us a nijat, grant us a salvation, grant us to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Nabi'een, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. As Allah promised this is the best of company bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. <laughs>